Jansen. Five seconds. Who had hit? Is that wrong? <laughs> it's really wrong, but wow. I got it after about five seconds. Is that hello want, in Dutch? It's how are you? You want to learn? Yes. Who? Who? Gaat haar? It's nice and guttural. Okay. Who gaat het? Hit. Hit. Isn't that what I said? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Who had hit? Great. I couldn't even pronounce your name. I've all day I long. I've said, I said Framka before you came out here. I heard it. I, somebody told me it was Famke. I, I, no, no, no. Definitely not Famke. Definitely no. not Famka. 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 Famka Jansen. Mm -hmm. And you're from Amsterdam. Yes. And uh, you came out when you were 19 out here. Yeah. Okay. So, and you didn't speak English at all. Well, I spoke English, but I didn't speak it the way I speak it now. Uh huh. And how how hard was that to learn? Because I hear the the older you are, when you learn a new language, it's it's really hard. Yeah, it was a little tricky, but it was mostly because. I, I knew I wanted to be an actress and I realized nobody was going to cast me as a Dutch person because I, you know. Not a, lot of, <laughs> not a lot of Dutch not roles. A lot of Dutch, well, not a lot of Dutch roles and not a lot of Dutch people that look like this, I uh -huh. suppose. You right. know, more like you, blonde, yeah. blue eyed and stuff. And so what, do you, what else do you speak? You speak English and... Uh, English, Dutch, French and German. That's very impressive. That's very impressive. But you know what? Nobody speaks Dutch. I kind of had to learn different languages. That yeah. country is the size of this room, basically. Yeah, so. I, I'm dying to go there. I would love to it's go. Great. I, it, it's it a looks, really great It place. looks beautiful. It is uh, congratulations on X-Men. It's going to be a Thank huge, you. huge movie. I hope so. and, but, I don't understand. I thought you, didn't you die in the last one? Yeah, I did. It's, it's, <laughs> and like, it's, it's like a soap opera. Yeah, I, I came back. Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I came back. But the funny part was that when we were shooting, we had a lot of people from the press coming, mm -hmm. and they wanted to keep it a secret that I was back. So uh -huh. every single time anybody from the press would come over, they would shove me in closets anywhere in the hallway uh -huh. so that they wouldn't give it away. And then all of a sudden, I was in, I live in New York actually, but I was in LA, and I drove around and I see these massive billboards with my character on them. And I go, I, oh, I guess it's okay to talk about it yeah. now. Before I wasn't allowed to say anything, but yeah, I'm back. Yeah, but I don't understand, but they'll explain it, I guess. This yes. is, um, and I actually saw you uh, with your dog recently. Yeah. Uh, this is the cutest dog. Your dog's name is Licorice? Licorice. Licorice, and uh, you have taken up sewing, and you're making outfits <laughs> for your dog. You, well, you, <laughs> you made so he's camouflaged. You he's can't camouflaged. see him. Well, <laughs> that's, see, that's in Vancouver when we were shooting, and yes, on set to kill the time, I just make outfits. You make for him. outfits for your dog. Yes. How many outfits does he have? He has a lot more outfits than most people do. Really? He's got, yeah. <laughs> and he and he he likes to wear them. No. Well, <laughs> but I. I <laughs> It came in handy in no, it's Vancouver. Cute. He no. was camouflaged while he was peeing. Right. You don't really see. You so. don't really ever want to see a dog. It's good to camouflage him. Yeah. Um, so, well, that's what I do in my spare time, too. You know, I have a sewing machine in my dressing room, and, and I what decided do you make? I made something for licorice. I made him a little X-Men uh, outfit for <laughs> That's amazing. 